Welcome to Supermani. Uh, I am now going to talk about uh, pensionizing your assets, right? So there are two types of people: those who are uh, trying to build a portfolio for retirement, those who have over the past few years uh, built a portfolio of dividend-paying companies. So you picked up some good dividend-paying companies, a uh, uh, Coal India at 120, uh, where you said, okay, this is a 10% dividend yield, so I will never uh, run out of money as long as I hold the share, and the company pays you, uh, company earns well enough to pay dividend. So one very important criteria to see is. <coughs> Uh, is it uh, is the dividend fully covered by the earning or are they dipping into their reserves to pay dividend so when you buy an ongc or ntpc and all you know that the uh, main uh, shareholder wants dividend so they will continue to pay dividend otherwise you look at some private companies also you don't want to become excessively dependent on psu right so you want psu you want private sector you want mnc you want all of them uh, because you don't want to be get you don't want to get excessively dependent on one particular sector also for dividends so if all your dividends are coming from uh, ntpc bpcl hpcl indian oil uh, uh, coal india you you realize that you are excessively public sector dependent and excessively energy dependent you don't want to do that also so when you're building your portfolio Uh, you have to understand that your portfolio has to be diversified you want some tata group birla group psu mnc all put together so that you create a good uh, dividend flow uh, the advantage is you should uh, you will not have to worry about the day to day fluctuation so if you look for say 5 6% kind of a dividend yield 4 5% dividend yield and a pe of 20 it would be a good way to build your portfolio because over 5 years you expect your share price to also double right that's what your pe is saying uh and at that time your uh, dividends would have also grown at a pace greater than inflation so suddenly you will be finding you will find that your uh, dividend yield on cost is something like 12 13% Uh, which is fantastic in a country with inflation say of 6-7 percent uh, and uh, the fact that you want to dip into your portfolio you can dip into your portfolio at some stage because your portfolio has also doubled your dividends have increased and now you have enough cash flow from dividends right so uh, dividends are chunks of money that get deposited in, uh, deposited into your account uh, some companies like say TCS definitely pay a quarterly dividend so which means every quarter you are going to get x amount say 1000 thousand ten thousand depending on the size of your portfolio from uh, TCS so you know that uh, this is a company which will uh, which will continuously pay me dividend and which will also use the uh, other money for compounding the growth two companies i really like uh, which have uh, rewarded the shareholders and grown are uh, hdfc limited and reliance right they have not uh, they have taken the risk right for example uh, geo investment should be in the region of 2 lakh crores uh reliance retail would be again uh, a big huge chunk may not be 2 lakh crores but right so all though that happened at a time when the oil was producing so much cash flow that they could afford to pay you dividend and invest right so an hdfc limited could pay you good dividends and build a good portfolio and uh, promote companies like hdfc bank hdfc mutual fund hdfc life insurance which needed a long uh, period of uh, hand holding today those companies are themselves throwing up a lot of cash which is coming back to hdfc limited though of course hdfc limited is now history because um, the merger approval has come through sorry that's a digression so you want companies which are growing well uh, paying you enough dividends and using the uh, other money for compounding and growing that is how you build your portfolio what about those people who have come suddenly at the age of 55 and uh, are saying uh, i want to build a portfolio which is which will give me dividends i do not know how what uh, they should do because for me uh, i uh, have built it over a long period of time so i have used your, your rupee cost averaging uh, i have bought shares of uh, say bharti at 80 rupees when it was a 10 rupee share i have sold at 1200 i've done all kinds of things and i've sold slowly built my portfolio does my portfolio include bharti of course uh, will bar is bharti a growth share right now maybe maybe not 10 years later it will be a nice dividend darling in the market uh, and i don't really care about the share price because the dividends would have grown it's an infrastructure company like uh, tata power 
one day uh, it my it looked it looked very attractive at 30 rupees because of the dividend yield and today the denominator has also grown my uh, dividend yield on current market price may be pathetic but you have to understand that for me it is 5% on my cost so both ways to look at it you don't have to look at only at your cost sometimes you look at market return uh, market price of the share and say this this is not a dividend yield share anymore it's a growth share i don't need growth share in my portfolio therefore i will sell so you can use that or say okay i don't really care because um, i don't need the money i don't need to put it into uh, some other share and i don't know what share to buy i don't know how to why to switch uh, therefore, I will not sell. The other way to look at it is, look, I bought it for 5% dividend yield. Now, here I am not getting a 5% dividend yield. I will sell this and buy some other share at a 5% dividend yield because I need the dividends. Or you say, no, I, my annual expenses are 5 lakhs. My dividend yield is about, my dividend uh, cash flow is about 9 lakhs. So, I already have a surplus which I need to invest. So, why should I sell uh, part of my shares, right? So, the advantage of dividend investing, of course, I've, I've done many videos on that is, you will never run out of money during your retirement, right? You will never run because you are living off the income, you are not touching the principal. The principal could fluctuate, a very, very bad market like 1993, you could see 50% of your portfolio getting wiped out. You will still get good dividends, right? So, you, you are, uh, uh, your uh, dividend, uh, your cash flow requirement is 5 lakhs a year and you are getting some 12 lakhs uh, as dividend. That 12 might shrink to 9 lakhs, but you still have so much of a moat and so much of margin for safety that it does it need not bother you it may but it need not bother you if you are trying to build a portfolio for dividend uh, this is not a very easy market this is definitely uh, indian market is definitely expensive i am making this video in uh, uh, december 2022 uh, and I can tell you that building a dividend portfolio now will not be very easy. I would rather suggest that you be in a floating rate fund and then slowly look for shares. Building a dividend portfolio, building any portfolio overnight is not going to be very easy, right? So, play it uh, safe. <coughs> Uh, buy slowly and but make a list of dividend paying shares that you wish to own i am assuming for a minute that you are already uh, retired or you are two years away from retirement and you need the dividend cash flow then you have to be sure that you are not over concentrating on one particular group like say psus or energy because all energy paying dividend uh, all energy uh, companies are paying out high dividend or metals suddenly you find oh vedanta is getting fantastic return but you don't want to get a concentrated metal portfolio you don't want a concentrated uh, energy portfolio you don't want a concentrated mnc portfolio so building your portfolio over time using concepts like sip in a single share or things like that is very important for you to uh, for you to start those who have already started can uh, look at the cash flow and say okay now i am 48 years of age i don't need to uh, worry too much about the dividends and i'll worry about dividend cash outflow only when i am uh, 60 i'm assuming 60 is the retirement age the advantage of dividend uh, investing is you see a company you see how much they are earning how much they are uh, distributing so you know what distributions to expect so uh, would i buy a share at six seven percent dividend yield and a 20 pe yes i would happily buy if the pe is lower even better but i wouldn't think too hard except in my portfolio balance i don't want too much of concentration on one geography or one group or one uh, category or one industry i don't want that so therefore i will be i may be selling an uh, ntpc and buying some uh, mnc which has fallen and which is likely to be a good dividend yield story five years from now or seven years from now because of the power of compounding of the retained earnings so one is when you get dividend you buy more of the same share or when you get a dividend you say no i don't want to concentrate my portfolio so i will go and put this money in an index fund that's also possible it's your call so that is the way you build your portfolio then you can decide when to withdraw you don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day fluctuation these are the advantages of the dividend based uh, uh, portfolio or, or saying i will create a portfolio which is big enough that i can live off the dividend so by living off the dividend for 10 years let us assume your portfolio has doubled very decent chance that your uh, dividend has kept pace with inflation and your portfolio size becomes so big that you know that uh, at 65 or 70 even assuming you have to dip into your capital it will still last you 20 30 years right even spite of because you are anyway dependent on dividend 
another advantage with dividend is you know exactly how much you can spend so if your dividend income is 10 lakhs and your annual expenses are 5 lakhs you know you are very comfortable because another 5 lakhs is getting added to your corpus apart from the appreciation so let us say your portfolio is appreciating at 12 13% and you are getting a 5 6% dividend yield and that 5 6% dividend yield you are using only 2 and 1/2% uh which is fantastic because the remaining 2 and 1/2 is going to the denominator so 10 years from now uh, or even say 7 years from now your portfolio would have definitely doubled because one is market may have appreciated and second the dividend plow back that you have done so 7 8 years later you will be very comfortable because you have uh, you're still using much less of the dividend or a smaller portion of the dividend because your dividends would have gone up your expenses may not have gone up so much because in the old age the retire the impact of inflation may not be too high i mean it's perfectly possible that your husband is ill and you have to sell a portion of your portfolio but i am assuming other conditions remaining same you have now built a portfolio you understand what it is husband and wife both sit and uh, decide the portfolio and then you live off the dividends the advantage is i i i may be repeating that uh, you are never worried that your portfolio will be diminishing right so many people even at the age of 75 78 would uh, when you say this is how it can be done you can do a systematic withdrawal this this some where it hurts them that oh my god my capital is also coming back what happens if i run out of money when you are a direct equity portfolio with uh, only dividends the advantage is you don't have to worry about your capital eroding of course capital can fluctuate capital can fall and the uh, 65 year old may be aggressive but the 85 year old your Uh, at 85 you may be far more conservative and you may think no 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 let me sell off all my equity and put it into bank deposits right the risk is if you live till 105 maybe this money will already last so you don't have a problem but those people who have planned for a lesser period many people plan though i will die at the age of 72 that is the average indian age unfortunately the average does not tell you the full story so the advantage is you build your portfolio slowly you have psu you have energy you have metals you have tata group you have birla group you have M- you have uh, uh, growing companies which will become good dividend yield stories after some time so all this you have created your portfolio the advantage is you are not going to use most of the dividend some of it is being uh, used now if you see big foundations big foundations are run like that right the tata trusts are run like that uh, kellogg's is run like that many people go and create an endowment for a big university in us and say all the dividends you can use for your day to day but you should not sell the capital right so some of these things i know people who have put money in a trust for their uh, charitable activities saying you have no right to sell the share you can only live off the dividends this ensures one thing that if there is some uh, misuse of money it is only out of current income it is not out of capital so there are various reasons uh, various ways in which how you can use a dividend yield uh, strategy one is uh, like i said you have current cash flows and some companies which will have future cash flows right so you build you buy companies which are which are going to have very good cash flows in 2032 but you're building the portfolio some gives you a current cash flow so depending on your age you build your portfolio and you build your portfolio in such a way that you are not afraid of running out of money during your retirement and that i think is a very important thing i keep telling people my job is to reduce client stress right so when i meet people and they are talking to me uh well this is my advice and one good one thing which is amazing which is happening is every trip somebody recognizes me and say what do you do so i tell them i'm here to reduce your stress of course now i'm not taking on individual clients but uh, i hope watching my videos uh, reduces your financial stress thank you